Hello world, welcome to quick tip number 32, Orbit in the new Beta 2.0 web app. I was planning to make a video about Orbits already for a while, but then came also the new update for the new Beta version which will be released shortly. So I thought I'm gonna combine those. You see there's quite a number of presets for missions, but we start with the Orbit. This was my first real flight planning with the new beta version, but in principle it's the same as before, but it's much more detailed, so you need to have a little attention. As always we select our location for our flight. As you can see I've done a lot of testing in my area. <laughs> And there is my orbit. Now we will set the right parameters and because it's a flight within an urban area I have to follow the strict regulations in Belgium. So far it's a normal orbit, 30 meters in altitude and about 32 meters in diameter. As you can see you also have directly now your altitude on your markers or waypoints. Very handy. I'll change my altitude to 25 meters and then at final attitude I put the second value. So now I have a Kirk screw. The same with the radius. I'll change the first radius to 30 meters. And then I say at final radius and I take another value bigger or smaller, in this case 50 meters. And there is my cochlea. The rotations is set to 1 or 360 degrees, but of course this we can change. And there is our flight, in 3D of course. By default the camera is pointing to the center of the orbit, so we need to change this. There are numerous possibilities, but we go for the point of interest, in video. Now we select a point of interest and of course we mark the point of interest, in this case that's me. And as always we do a preview. And as you can see the camera points to me as programmed. By clicking add you see we have now a complete range of possibilities to choose from. And now we will extend the mission with a waypoint flight. Just a short mission for testing. We also add some parameters.
and now it's time to fly. Starting mission, 